In technical terms, this SUV is not as refined as, say, European classmates, in comparison with which, by the way, it loses its price much more slowly. And yes, you can't buy it cheap. The secret of such popularity is in the indestructibility and durability of the Japanese. Land Cruiser Prado 2 generation, J90, 3, and 5 door received an independent front suspension instead of an axle. It was equipped with a gasoline for 2.7, 150 horsepower, V6 3.4 up to 185 horses, and diesel engines 2.8 and 3.0 liters up to 140 horsepower. Land Cruiser Prado 3 generation, J120, received a new chassis. Appeared adaptive shock absorbers and rear air suspension. New engines, 2.7, 163 horsepower, 4.0 V6, 2A9 HP, and more powerful diesel, 170 horsepower. In fact, the Land Cruiser Prado has long been renowned for its quality and reliability. Therefore, he earned the reputation of an unkillable Jeep. If many competitors have been offering modern design trends for more than a decade, such as a load-bearing body and independent suspensions of all wheels, then the Japanese remain true to the old classic scheme. The body of the Prado rests on a powerful spar frame, in the rear suspension there is a condom continuous bridge beam, and in the front there is an independent suspension. The car was produced in two versions, five-door and three-door, with a shortened wheelbase. The latter is out of competition on off-road due to the best geometric cross-country ability. On all variants of Prado, permanent four-wheel drive, downshift with locking center and rear, optional, differentials. The SUV was equipped with a 4.0-liter V6 petrol, 249 horsepower, and a 3-liter turbo diesel with a return of 166 horsepower, paired with the latter, a 6-speed mechanics or a 5-band automatic worked. For a gasoline engine, only 4 and 5-speed automatic transmissions were offered. There are mainly dealer cars on the Russian market, there are also many copies from America. Mostly diesel versions were brought from Europe, which had to be ordered in Russia. Our officials offered mainly gasoline Land Cruiser Prado in rich equipment, with an eight-seater saloon and an automatic machine. The same cars, as a rule, sailed from the USA. If you have a burning desire to purchase a version with a manual box, you will have to be patient. An option with such a transmission will have to be looked for long and hard. Offers on the market can be counted on the fingers of one hand. Despite the fact that Prado is considered a medium-sized SUV, its interior can accommodate up to eight passengers. True, the first owner usually had to pay extra for the third row of seats. In general, you can't call a car close in any way. The quality of interior finishing materials is at a high level. As for equipment, the second owner will not have to complain about this. The car has everything for comfortable and safe movement both on asphalt roads and off them. Of the two engines that were installed on the Prado, the most common is a gasoline V6, an absolutely reliable 3-liter turbo diesel under the hood of an SUV is much less common. Diesel 6 with proper maintenance is considered absolutely reliable. The gas distribution mechanism is driven by a chain whose service life exceeds 250,000 to 300,000 kilometers. True, a replacement, if needed, will cost about 28,000 rubles. However, even a serviceable turbo diesel on a used Prado can be a significant investment in the future. First, you need to count on replacing the injection nozzles from 3,800 rubles for each, and on cars with high mileage, there is a possibility of malfunctions in the high-pressure fuel pump. If it cannot be repaired, on average 60,000 rubles, then you will have to spend money on a new one, and it already costs from 120,000 rubles. The item will have to use the original. The transmission and gearboxes are very strong. In addition to the crosses, 2,900 rubles, of the cardan shaft and other small things, the model rarely breaks. Yes, and the good old four-band machine is not seen in breakdowns. The suspension also does not cause any special problems, except for the wheel bearings. Engine. Gasoline V6 is absolutely reliable and durable, which is partly determined by its horse-drawn design. With proper operation, only consumables will have to be changed, candles, from 2,000 rubles a set, and ignition coils, from 1780 rubles a piece. From our fuel, the mass air flow sensor, 4260 rubles, fails. The gearbox mostly used on the Prado is automatic. It is a priori reliable, but when buying a used SUV, test it on the go before diagnosing it. Gears and ranges should turn on smoothly, without jerks and bumps. 
Otherwise, it is better to look for another option. Suspension. In the suspension, bushings, 590 rubles, and struts, 1850 rubles, of the stabilizer wear out the fastest, which still hold at least 50,000 kilometers, approximately 100,000 kilometers are front shock absorbers, from 2,000 rubles apiece. In the rear suspension with pneumatic elements, anti-icing reagents are often denied by body height sensors, of which there are four pieces. Replacing them will cost 11,000 to 13,500 rubles. Transmission. In the transmission at each MOT, after 10,000 kilometers of run, the crosses of the cardan shafts are injected. The resource of the two most loaded crosses, from 1,500 rubles, closest to the rear and front axles, is usually enough for 100,000 kilometers. Body. The body is characterized by exemplary resistance to corrosion. That's just the paintwork cannot boast of hardness and over the years begins to wrap around. On the oldest copies, the back door sags from a full-size spare tire hanging on it. 